All right, we're going to learn a very simple technique, which is to duplicate the faces of an object so we can create another object with a similar surface. So here we have this helmet design, and I want to duplicate this area right here. So I'm going to go right mouse button and I'm going to select faces. And now I'm going to select these faces right here. Let me hit F so I can frame the faces. I'm going to zoom as close as I can so you can see what happens. And we're going to be using a tool called the duplicate tool. And the duplicate tool is found under edit mesh. And towards the bottom, you will see the duplicate tool. I'm going to open the option and it gives me the option to separate the duplicate faces and to offset them at a specific distance. Always reset the tools. I'm going to click on duplicate. And as soon as I click on duplicate, you will notice that now I have two objects because one, the wireframe is green and the other one is white. I have this poly chip off UI right here where I can use my mouse and click on the word, for example, move on the local translate Z, which is the same thing that we do when we extrude from polygons, which is the blue axis handle as you can see right here. But I wanna keep this surface in the same place as the helmet. So I'm just gonna do nothing. I'm gonna hit Q to deselect the tool. And now notice that I have everything in component mode. So you have to go right mouse button and go to object. And here's the helmet. And if I go shift and then drag over the helmet again, it will deselect the helmet, but then grab my newly created patch there it is. Now we have to be aware that when we duplicate faces, as you can see right here in the outliner, this new patch is grouped with the original object, which was the helmet. This transform node right here, it's the history. That means that these two objects, the helmet and the patch are attached together via a history. The easiest way to fix this is to select both of the objects and go to edit delete by type, delete the history. And you will notice that the transform node has been deleted. And then if you want to select these two objects right here and get them out of this group, hold your middle mouse. And then while these two meshes are selected, just drag them out all the way to the bottom of the outliner. And now you can select that group and delete it. And this is how we duplicate faces in Maya.